Hello and welcome. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to use the Windows 7 automated installation kit, specifically the Windows System Image Manager, to create a distribution share and then an automated answer file to help you automate the installation of Windows 7. In today's automated answer file, we're going to go ahead and modify some settings to set up a disk partition with the appropriate partition settings uh, in which Windows 7 will be installed. So to get started, the first thing we need to do today is launch our Microsoft Windows Automated Installation Kit and then launch the Windows System Image Manager. So I'm going to click on Start, go to All Programs, choose the Microsoft Windows AIK, and then choose the Windows System Image Manager. When the Windows System Image Manager is open, the next step is to create a distribution share. The distribution share is where other computers would access the answer file from. And notice we're even getting an error message. The share is not a valid distribution share. So we need to go up to Tools, Create Distribution Share and we need to create this share uh, at the C drive and we're just going to go ahead and give it a name of share for now. So we'll open that up and we now have a distribution share. From here we need to add the appropriate Windows image to our distribution share. So I'm going to go ahead and click on file and then select Windows image. I've got a 2008 R2 server over here which has all of the Windows 7 images on it already in an ISO format so I'm going to use a network path to locate a, the appropriate Windows image file. So I'm going to go ahead and look for slash slash RWDC01 which is the name of my 2008 server slash downloads which is the share pointer entry into that server where the files are located slash then I am going to choose win 7 pro and notice I've got two options here x86 and x64 I'm going to choose x64 because I'm working with a 64 bit operating system but if you have a 32-bit OS, please feel free to use the x86 files. Uh, so we're going to choose the x64 option. And then I'm going to put a slash behind that. And I want to type in sources slash install dot whim. I'm going to open this up. And I have to select an image. And that's OK. This is actually a good sign. I'm going to choose Windows 7 Professional for this scenario, but you could choose whichever image you would like to choose. You could choose Home Basic, Home Premium, Professional, or Ultimate. Remember that Windows 7 only has one media kit. All versions of the operating system are on that media kit, and dependent upon the license key, that will determine which image you install as you deploy Windows 7 manually. For now, we're going to automate Windows 7 Professional and we'll click on OK. So we've now just added the source file, so to speak, to our Windows System Image Manager. So the next step is to create a new answer file. So I'm going to click on File, New Answer File. Great. And from here, we need to browse down into Components. So we'll go down into the Windows Image, Windows 7 Professional, components category and now we're looking specifically for disk so I'm using AMD 64 which is 64 bit processor and I'm gonna scroll down till I get to Windows setup AMD Microsoft Windows setup and if I expand that I can now go to disk configuration and if I expand that I can select disk and now you'll see I've got create partitions and modify partitions. Browsing to this area is going to allow me to create an answer file that will configure my disk drives as I 
roll out Windows 7 in an automated fashion. So the first thing I want to do is create a partition in my fictitious answer file. So I'm going to right click on create partition and I'm going to add setting to pass one of Windows PE. Windows PC is the pre-installation environment and I need to configure disks in pass one. You'll see that's the only option uh, because the Windows operating system will be well under installation in the additional passes. So I'm going to add setting to pass one Windows PE and you'll see up here now we've got one Windows PE, 64-bit OS, disk configuration, disk, create partitions, create partition. And I also want to modify my partition, so I'm going to go back to my image box and expand modify partitions and right click on modify partition and I'm going to add setting to pass one Windows PE as well. So now in my answer file I need to start adding the appropriate configuration settings. I'm going to start by clicking on disk and inside of disk I'd like to give it a disk ID of 0. So I'm going to type in 0 over that. That just means it's the first physical disk. And from here I want to set will wipe disk to true. It's essentially saying erase the disk before you continue on. And now I want to create my partition information so I'm going to highlight create partition and I need to add some additional data for the computer here so I want to extend it true and then I want to set the order to one which is essentially saying it's the first partition and the size type or the type I guess is just going to be primary I'm not going to set the size. And then in the modify partition properties we want to set it active. So active partition true. Format will be NTFS. Let's give it a label and we'll call it Windows. And then let's give it a drive letter of C. And the order once again will remain 1 so we'll type 1 in there and the partition ID will remain 1. So now we need to validate our answer file so if we go up to tools validate answer file you'll see that no warnings or errors has shown up in my messages box. If there were anything wrong with the settings I had just uh, documented like maybe they were conflicting settings or there are errors I'd get a message here and I'd have to fix it but because there are no warnings or errors let's continue on here so I need to create the configuration set now which is essentially creating the answer file so I'm gonna go ahead and go up to tools and choose to create the configuration set and I need to select the target folder for the configuration set so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in my C drive in the folder called share and I need to give it a folder name let's just call it config set and we'll open that up and we'll click OK the folder does not exist do you want to create it yes I do and now our configuration set has been created successfully and you can click on OK to that message and then that is the end of creating a answer file using the Windows System Image Manager. So we're going to close the Windows System Image Manager and one last thing we can do to validate it really is there if we browse our C drive and if we go to that share folder there's the config set folder we just created and inside of it here's our auto unattend file it's an XML document and if we right click it and edit the file we can look at some of the settings we created so we've got create partition add we'll extend it with an order of one it's a primary partition it's an active partition that will be NTFS and the label is called Windows so sure enough this is our unattend file that we have just created using the Windows 7 automated installation kit and the Windows system image manager and that's how you set up 
these utilities and create an answer file. That will be the end of today's demonstration. I created an answer file using the Windows Automated Installation Kit. Thank you for watching. This is BrickHouseLabs.com and I hope you enjoy future videos. Take care.